we're going to show you an application. We're going to put some mylar, actually, on this uh, coroplast. I'm sure you're, uh, most of you are familiar with this stuff. It's got lots of flutes, little ridges. And we've had people call us in the past and say, you know, we normally do dry applications on the coroplast, but we get little air bubbles trapped in all those little flutes. Not all of them, maybe, but enough that the customer's not real tickled with it. It doesn't look good. Well, you know, people say, oh, we put it in the sun, and in a couple of days it'll go away. Sometimes that's true, sometimes it's not. I've seen it happen both ways. The big thing is, when you leave your customer, take his money and go, you want him to be happy with the finished product at that point in time, not two days, two weeks, or a month later. You want him happy right then. Don't want any buyer's remorse to set in. So anyway, we tell those people, yes, using Rapid Tac or Tac 2 uh, will greatly enhance the ability to get the vinyl down flat and inside those little flutes. And a lot of it is how you squeegee, but also a lot of it is in a wet application, just the general hydraulic phenomenon of, of pushing liquid over the round edges and out of those flutes is much easier than trying to push a cushion of air. The air kind of absorbs the pressure of your squeegee and doesn't leave. Now, I'm, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But let's, uh, let's show you. Let's clean this thing. I'm using, once again, Rapid Tac 2. It's winter time. If it were summertime, I might be using Rapid Tac. But then again, I'm going to put Mylar on here. And uh, using Mylar, Rapid Tac 2 would be the choice, whether it was summer or winter. If we were using premium cast film, then we'd be using rapid tack, especially in a warmer climate. Okay, we're all clean. Now we're gonna get it wet, just like you would any other surface, a painted surface, an acrylic surface, a glass surface. Get it wet. Get the mylar out here. I love this film, it's just great looking. A little difficult to work with sometimes, but we'll play with it here. Okay, so we've got our wet application, meaning time to register, get it where we want it. Gee, that's not where I want it. Okay, that's where I want it. From the very start, put the pressure down with the squeegee, and don't go with the flutes, don't follow the lines, go across the lines in both directions. Do it firmly. Remember, you're pushing the liquid out from under the film and, and between those little flutes, those little lines, depressions. You gotta push hard. And get it all out of there. This doesn't take a lot longer. In fact, in many cases, in most cases, this is actually easier and quicker than doing it dry, okay? It's the squeegee technique, it's the liquid. If you're doing this, you wait 90 seconds after you've squeegeed it, then you spray this transfer tape, which is mid tac by the way, mid tac transfer tape, with the application fluid that you've chosen. Here we're using rapid tac 2 with mylar, okay. Wait 90 seconds before you get it wet. I like to keep the top side, especially on a vertical surface, I like to keep that kind of dry. I don't want that liquid creeping down under my vinyl again. I want all the liquid out from under the vinyl. So let's get the transfer tape soaked up here. Have it, have this rapid tack to penetrate in there. Yeah, it's already puckering up. That tells me it's penetrating and it's going to release some of the adhesive pull. Once again, this is mylar on a coroplast substrate. Quick and easy, about 25 cents worth of rapid tack. It gives you the insurance of knowing that you're gonna get the vinyl down in those flutes, get an excellent bond, even in cold weather. Your customers are gonna come up and go, geez, that looks great. Look at the shine on that stuff. And it's not full of bubbles. It's flat down and it's in those corrugations. Let's give you a little close up on that. 